Hey friend, we need to talk. Have you ever been cut? Like a little cut. Okay, for instance, a paper cut. I mean, them suckers hurt, but they heal up really quick. There's not even a scab, right? Now, you get some road rash. That thing's scabby. It hurts. It lasts a little longer. The healing process is harder. Now, when you get a slice, like a slash, that thing is deep. That thing takes a long time to heal. Now, why am I talking about this? Listen, when you've been cut and you don't allow that thing to heal like a scab that just keeps cracking back open and cracking back open, you bleed on people that didn't cut you. Now, the process is hard. The process is ugly to heal up a deep, deep wound. I know, I know, friend, because I've been there. It's hard. It's grueling. It feels like it's going to take forever and this thing will never heal up. But I'm telling you, there is somebody, one, somebody who can heal that thing up. And I know you don't want to be bleeding all over the people that love you, the people that never cause this pain, dripping drops of that pain all over them and their lives. I know you don't want that. So go to the one person who can heal this thing up. Now, don't be shocked by what I'm about to say. But even when you go to him, you need community. Nobody can heal properly in isolation. Think about this. When you go to the hospital for an emergency situation, do they sit you in a room and lock the door by yourself? No, there's a team of people there to help you heal. The same is true spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. You need a team of people around you that will help you stay at God's feet, at the feet of Jesus, so you can heal properly. Because friend, once you're healed, healed people heal people.